Thanks to the organizers for giving me an opportunity to speak in this conference. And uh, today, uh, today I talk about uh, my study of the severe, severe locus in arbitrary characteristic. And here is my auto, uh, here is the outline of my talk. And uh, first of all, in section one. I'll give, the defin I'll give the definition of the several locus, and uh, after that, I explain, I explain several theorem and uh, my study of the several locus in arbitrary characteristic. And uh, in the next, in section two, uh, I, I'll explain um, calculation method of the severe, uh, the calculation method of the defining ideal of the severe locus in a characteristic. And finally, in section three, uh, by using this method, I give an example of X such that the severe locus is non-linear. Uh, and uh, so let's move on to the first section. So, Section one. Uh, let let K be an <coughs> algebraic uh, closed field of arbitrary characteristic. Uh, so uh, we denote by P that characteristic. And let X be non degenerate non degenerate projective variety in Pn. For this uh, for this X we define the severe locus as follows uh, severe locus. We denote by S alta X, S alta X, uh, the set of points Z in Pn minus X such that uh, pi Z over X, uh, X to pi Z. It's non by rational uh, where pi z is pi z is the projection from the point You know, as you know, for uh, as you know, a general point of PN project X by rational, and the conversely, uh, in this talk we consider that set of the locus of special points, and uh, and this locus is called the single locus uh, because the following fundamental theorem was proved by B. Segre in 1936. So I, I write it. Uh, so A. B. Segre. Uh, assume, assume, assume that P is equal to zero. Then S alta X, X is equal to <coughs> an union of finitely <coughs> of 
finitely many linear subspaces. Uh, in other words, every, uh, in other words, every component of S alpha X is linear. Uh, and uh, recently, uh, recently, this locus and related topics are studied by A Calabri, uh, A Calabri, uh, the Muri, and C Sigurd. And uh, E by Co and uh, uh, E, e Noma and uh, in, part in particular, uh, uh, in particular, Barico split the following locus by using the method of uh, Carly Chilet. So, uh, S in X as the locus of points Z in X such that phi Z over X Union S in X is linear. 
And uh, so my proof works, uh, uh, my proof also works in characteristic, characteristic zero. So this is a new proof of uh, the theorem of Segre. Uh, and uh, in theorem one, we need to assume P is greater than or equal to degree X. In fact, for small characteristic, uh, we have an example uh, of uh, nonlinear segment locus. So we ex uh, I explain it the next. Can I ask a question here? Oh, yeah. Segment None of the linear, linear space in the same X. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't know the name of your sign there. G S S S out. Ah, S S. Is this joint from from X? Yes. Is it this joint from X? Yeah. Those linear space they do not intersect X. What do they? Hmm? Uh, you take the closure. Ah, uh, yes. Take the closure. So yeah. does the closure meet X? Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Yes. S X is closed. Uh, but you define S outside. Yeah. My points outside X. No, am I wrong? as g e x such that by g over x Minus x three p minus one equal x one p minus x three p minus one. A divide as this polynomial. 
uh, then uh, this is a space rational cup space rational cup of degree P2 uh, for this x we have the following Is a hyper, uh, if x is a hypersurface, uh, then our problem is uh, trivial. And uh, secondly, uh, linearity of s at the x union s in the x implies. Linearity of S at X. So, uh, theorem, theorem one. Sorry. So, theorem one implies uh, the uh, theorem of same. And uh, finally, Characteristic zero uh, in characteristic zero case, we have the following uh, uh, useful fact uh, is equal to zero. Uh, let y be uh, let y be a variety and let uh, L in P and be a uh, linear space, linear subspace. Then we have the following. Ah, then <coughs> dimension of the image pi L y over L is equal to dimension y minus dimension T Y Y intersection L minus one. Ah, ah, where what? Why is a general point? General point. Uh, 
this fact and uh, this fact and uh, this kind of uh, projective techniques are used in the proof of segre segre. Uh, however, this fact is not hold in positive characteristic. Uh, so, however, p is if greater than equal to uh, if p is positive, then the fact doesn't hold in general. Doesn't does not hold in general. So to uh, so to prove theorem one and uh, this example two, we need uh, a new strategy. And uh, I I I will explain it uh, in the next. I I. So, first of all, we give a method uh, to compute the defining ideal of the segre locus. Ideal of the segre locus. Ideal of the segre locus. In the case when in the case when for dimension of x in T n is equal to two and P is actually P is actually And uh, finally, by using by using uh, induction on codimension x in p n, we prove theorem one. On the other hand, uh, we can get the uh, example two because uh, uh, for for a variety for a variety x in example two, 
we can calculate the defining ideal of the several locus uh, by using uh, this method. Uh, and we can find uh, the, lo the several locus is linear in this case. So now this is my, my put strategy of the proof of theorem 1 and theorem example 2. Yeah. And in, in the following, I'll explain, I'll explain this calculation method in section two, and after that, by using this, I explain this example. So, So let's move on to the next section. I'll explain the calculation method of the civil locus. So, let x be non-degenerate non -degenerate projective variety of dimension n, which is less than n minus. Uh, for this x, we define dig the x uh, as uh, the degree of uh, i t x minus c. Ah, ah, we did not write degree t x the degree of uh, the closure of the image in the n minus 1. And we denote by locus ex uh, the, local, the set of points g in pn such that degree degree g x is less than one equal to e. For, for, for this uh, locus e x, we have the following proposition. Such 
concept is an irreducible component of locus Ex <coughs> and degree z x is equal to e for general z. So by this proposition. This proposition, uh, every reducible component of the stereo locus is a, com a component of locus EX. No, no, could you go back to your definition of that? Locus E, locus e of X is equal to the set of points where degree is, must be greater than one. <coughs> Sorry. Degree is a, degree is a, uh, degree is degree. a semiconductor. At, uh, 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 degree Z X is uh, it's the, the image. Oh, the image. Oh, the image. Yeah, uh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, point. This point. Uh, so, 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 so this proposition uh, to, to consider the cell locus, we, it is sufficient to consider this LOCEX. We need to consider this, this one. And, uh, In the next, in the next, I gave a calculation method of locus, lo, locus e x. This, this, this is the C e x. So, And uh, we'll see uh, uh, we, we, we will see in uh, if uh, codimension x in pm is equal to <coughs> 2 then this locus is this locus is equal to a determinant variety of a matrix lambda E. So, <laughs> in, in the following, I give this matrix. Uh, but, uh, so, and uh, we need uh, a preparation of this. Omega S is uh, uh, we denote by omega S the basis of this 
マルチインデックス安定、えーアンチウィテファインウィテファイン DI アズザフォロイングオピレートオピレーコールドアーツイテラティブファイヤーデリベーションイテラティブファイヤーデリベーションあ、ディストオペレーターイズキャンデファインドオーバーツイーソーディスディフィニッションワークスインアルトリキャラクタリスティックあんで、レッツ H1HR B アセットアッハベーシスオブベーシスオブ小文字アレッド H1 HRP アベーシスオブディグリーイパーティオブジイディアルオブ X アンデアフォー For, for this basis, we set lambda e minus s to be、uh, a matrix. Yeah, matrix. Lambda e minus s h1, lambda e minus s h r. Where? Where? これのみある F、えー、ウィプッド DE マイス S オメガゼロ F、DE マイス S マイス1オメガゼロプラスオメガ 1F、ちょっと DIF、DE マイス S オメガゼロ F、アンドフェア、ザ・アブソリュート・オブ・ I イズイコルト E マイス S。
de reset so it is all of the PIF where I is all the all the in all in all the multi all the multi indices. Ah yes. All, all, all index which is uh satisfying this. <coughs> and uh, And we define lambda e as lambda e minus one if if t is greater than e or t is equal to zero and and if p is And if e is smaller than, uh, if e is less than or equal to e, we define lambda e minus one, lambda e minus p, lambda e minus two p, lambda e minus lambda e minus floor of e over p. Times p. And we deal the by z r lambda e. To be ah, the R lambda E is defined as uh, the zero set of set of uh, the R times R minus of lambda E. This matrix we have the following theorem. Uh, because that uh, R is uh, R is H uh, zero IX. Then greater than or equal to 2, then locus EX is contained in ZR lambda E. And uh, moreover, if X in PN is not a con, And uh, the dimension x in p n is equal to two. Then, uh, then the equality holds. Then locus e x is equal to uh, g r lambda e. So 
in the next section, I'll uh, by using this by using this theorem, I gave a non a nonlinear an example of nonlinear cellular locus. So. P is not equal to L or P is equal to zero, then S alpha X is equal to a point one zero zero zero. And moreover S in a X is equal to zero 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 one. If L is greater than or equal to three, mm. and secondly, if P is equal to L, then Alpha uh, x is equal to this the set of the following polynomials x x three x three x zero l x two plus one plus one plus zero and the moreover. S in a x is equal to x if L is greater than or equal to C. And finally, uh, if L is equal to 2, then S in a x is empty uh, for all characteristics.
三節。I explain the calculation of S alpha X with P is equal to zero or L equal to P. And first of all, in this case, S alpha X is contained in locus. L, X. And uh, by the theorem, by the theorem, this locus is equal to G2 lambda L. Uh, and uh, uh, in this case, H0, I, X, L is equal to H1, H2, and the uh, where we denote by this polynomial uh, H1, H1, and uh, this polynomial H, uh, H, uh, H2 is this polynomial, and H1 is this polynomial. This is equal to the following matrix L, X, 0, 0, 0, X, 1, minus L, minus 1, X, 3, minus X, 1, X, 3, minus X, 1, minus X, 2. And, uh, and from this, we have G2 lambda L 1 0 is equal to 1 0 0 0 or uh, 1 0 0 0 and 1 0 and 0. And uh, this first is completely equal. So we have a uh, S alpha x is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0. Uh, in the next, uh, in the next, uh, 
in this we assume p is equal to L. And uh, in, in this case, uh, this part and uh, this part are vanished. Uh, uh, but, 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 so, 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 uh, uh, if L is equal to L, P is equal to L, then lambda L is, uh, lambda L minus one, lambda zero. And uh, lambda L minus one is uh, this. This implies this lambda L non zero is equal to x3 equal uh, to zero, zero set of x0, x3 and x0 L, x2 minus x1, L plus 1. is not contained in x. And so we have s as the x is equal to this one. So in positive characteristic case, uh, this part, this part, this part, uh, uh, these member, these members are by, vanished. Uh, however, uh, on the other hand, uh, in this case, we need to, to add, we need to add T0. So this part uh, appears, and uh, by calculating this, we get non-linear zero class. Uh, uh, that's all. Thank, thank you for your attention. <laughs>